Oh. We are divine creatures. We are part of this universe. And we come here to celebrate existence, man. Life is really good. Forget your limitations. Man, a dream a dream bigger than any possible dream you can possibly dream. And then dream a dream bigger than that and go for that. And I'm not joking. See, we're on the mountaintop right now. Life is good. It doesn't even hardly get any better than this. And it's free. We made it this way because this is what we like. We dance naked in the wilderness because we are divine. Right? Can you tell us what the rainbow gathering, and what in your opinion the rainbow gathering means or what the rainbow family means? The rainbow family is love. The rainbow, like I was telling you about, that divine spark within us, the only way to activate that divine spark is to have another person love you. And that's what our family does. We do what we make all the mistakes. We're human. We're children, for goodness sakes. We do everything that, that you can point your finger at and say, Ew! That's us. We are the misfits of the, of the globe. But we are also the most divine, and we have love. We have the light, and that's what it's really about, man. It ain't about your bank account. Can you tell us about your free energy? Oh, okay. Sweet. Yeah. I, have a, <laughs> I like a, one of the ways we can uh, exude our divine self is with our mind, and within within our mind is the ability to control energy that easily. This is a new millennium. <laughs> Let me give you a, a small demonstration here. I'm going to take uh, some trash. Beautiful. First I'm going to grab a, this is like uh, dish water. I'll take some dirty dish water. <laughs> a, a, a piece of trash, a Pepsi can. This is my own Pepsi can, I'm ashamed to say. But. I have a friend Please don't actually right get now. me in the recording. No problem, sister. Yep. No. There's like a mosquito in there. <laughs> and what I'm going to do, this is a sodium hydroxy, uh -huh. or they call it lye. This isn't a very pure form, but it'll work sufficient for what I'm about to do. It's uh, five dollars at your hardware store. Uh, creek water, dirty dish creek water. <laughs> this is a uh, organic decomposing agent. It uh, it not only unclogs your drain, it'll like uh, it'll do it. It'll dissolve your compost quicker than it can rot, and so it saves that effect. And so, in a way, it's a cleansing agent. And right now I'm making a, a sodium hydroxy solution. What this will do, see aluminum, we only see it in its oxidized form. Aluminum takes the oxygen from anything that it comes in contact with. But right now it's coming, it has a layer of oxygen already. The sodium, what it does is it, it mixes with the aluminum the aluminum takes the oxygen from the sodium. The sodium goes back in the water, takes the oxygen from the water, and that's the, the catalytic reaction that you're about to uh, witness here. Uh, Pepsi cans is a really good source of aluminum, but they have a coating on both sides. And so you want to scrape it off a little bit. It's easier to see that you're doing it on this side. I make batteries this way too. I'm used to doing this. With the exact same reaction, because what this reaction will do, it's not only going to, when it takes the oxygen from the water, it's going to also release an, an electron from, uh, it's like a half electron, the reaction has releases an electron for each hydrogen. So you get one hydrogen and one electron. And I have ways of catching both of them, but not here in the woods. I capture the electrons by, um, with pencil lead, it's graphite. The graphite actually catches the electron, and then the lead in the pencils is transferred to the copper, you know, to the wire. And I put a diode, diodes are like a one-way valve, like a check valve. 
So the electricity only goes that one way and you can like put it straight to the ground for your negative. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's a pretty well system. The only thing is I only get one volt for each uh, cathode that I have. And so I have to apply like a hundred or as many cathodes as I can put in the system. We each catch a volt. Then I can either wire them in series or parallel to, to make the type of electricity that I want. It will be de DC, it really clean DC because it comes straight. The only way electricity can get dirty is when all, the re all other electricity is made with magnets, magnets spinning inside a coil. The pulse of the magnets and the coil can, can make a pulse within the lines, kind of like a vibration in a hose or, or in an air tube like I was just using, or, or a flute, for instance. And they call that dirty electricity, but it's not really dirty. And you can probably see that there's bubbles starting in here. And those bubbles are, are the hydrogen releasing. And, uh, and, uh, and there's really no way to show you the electrons releasing. I, all I can do is prove to you that it's hydrogen. <laughs> it's recording. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually hydrogen. <laughs>